Okay, so guys, uh, what we are going to do over there, we are going to use the static routing between the routers, or on the routers, and over on the switches, we are going to use the VTP. And the VTP version that we are going to use too, right? And VTP mode that is uh, our server, right? And the domain name and the password that we are going to use it, that is CCIP. Right, and this is our server. Okay, so these are the things we are going to configure on the switch regarding the PTP. And if we talk about the PTP version 2, we also have to use on that switch PTP, PTP domain name and the password we have to use CCIP. Right, and this is our client switch. Okay. Now let's do the practicals. So the first of all, uh, we are going to perform the practicals regarding the IP address configurations, right? So over on that, this port, over on this port, we are going to use 10.1 and 10.2. Over on that port, we are going to use 20.1 network, right? <coughs> so let me check. So let's do the configuration. So I think uh, I have done the configuration regarding this IP address over on that, right? So let me just make it correct uh, over on this port that we have to configure. Interface pass is connected to the one. The IP address we are going to configure one IP port dot twenty dot one. Right, and don't forget to do more check it down. Now let's come over on this router. So over on this router, I have already configured the IP address over on this interface. So let me do the configuration regarding the 30.1 network on that interface. That is 0 slash 1, right? So the interface for second is 0 slash 1. The IP address that is 192.168.30.1. Right. So I have configured the IP address regarding uh, according to this diagram. So let me configure the IP address over on the PCs as well. And for this PC, this IP address is our default gateway, right? So how we can configure the default gateway as well? We will also talk about that. So the 192.168.20.2, right? And the default gateway would be 192.168.20.18. That is the this interface IP address. So once the packet will be moved from there to the end destination, so directly it will hit on this interface and then the router will perform uh, these things over there, right? So let me just configure the IP address on that interface.pcmeasure 192.168.20.3, right? And the default vector that you have to use 20.1. Right and the rest of the things will be seen. Okay, so let's get into the configuration on this PC as well. So 192.168.30.2 and the default gateway would be 192.168.30.1. Right? configure on this interface with sorry this PC as well. Moment And the default gateway would be 192.168.30.1 right now um let's do one more thing over there. Just check the configuration uh, like we have done the configuration regarding the uh, IP address right now these all are the area is in the same broadcast domain right these all are the area in the same broadcast domain in the same network so they can communicate with each other right so how let me check that means we are able to communicate or not so how you can check it with using the ping command right so the 192.168.20.1 
we are easily able to ping okay now let's check that over on the router on the directly connected between the routers let us check the connectivity we are also able to ping right so over here we are able to ping from here to here right first of all we check that let me also show you right so the first one that is 192.168.21.181 i'm on the pc pc number one right so uh from here we are going to ping first of all on that interface on the router then we do the ping we do the ping on the this interface as well because of this is on the same device so we are able to ping it now if we talk about the another device in the 10.2 so we are not able to ping it because of this can add this ip address configuration on the another device right so over here what we have to use we have to use the static routing over there okay so let's the configuration let's do the configuration regarding the static routing on these routers so let's do the configuration on the first router now uh, for which for which network that we are going to use it for this network because of this is the directly connected right and this one is also the directly connected means we are able to easily we are able to ping from here and here as well right but from uh, in which network we are not able to ping in that in this network so let's do the configuration and uh, we got in the ip route static routing we have to configure right so the ip route which network that we have to use 30.0 network right and subnet mask would be 255.255.0 now here is our um, what is our exit interface the exit interface would be our interface fast ethernet sorry um now the destination prefix mask right after that what we have to do fast ethernet right which was visit uh, one which interface is our the um, this, this this interface is our the uh, the exit interface because of this is the directly connected and my packet is going to hit on that interface so interface was it from zero slash zero is our destination right let me just show you the ip route so now we are start getting the network regarding the network this is connected right this is directly connected that is the same network c4 connected right and uh, this 20 network is also connected on this laptop fine now this is our static routing static route that we are uh, we are getting from this network that is the 30 network right so we are able to get this network inside the routing table now let's me let me do the configuration regarding the ip route static route configuration or on um, this router as well so ip route for which network that we are going to use it for the 20 network right because of let's talk about or on um, this router so this network is also directly connected and this network is also directly connected let me show let me show you the routing right so we are getting these two network that is the directly connected but inside the routing table which network we don't have that is the anti network right so over here that we are going to use it ip route sorry the static routing ip route for which network that anti network now exit interface would be our this router exit interface this uh, this this router is our exit interface so the fast is an in zero slash now let me show you the routing demo ip route now we are getting these the 30 network over there okay means we are start getting the 30 network now let me do first of all the same thing that we were not able to ping from this network right so let me do the ping and again in the different network yes 
so we are getting the ping from there right means sp we are getting the reachability okay now let's talk about the trunking configuration on that right so uh, let me just explain one of thing do we able to ping from here to here or not let me also do that So uh, I'm on this PC, PC number one, as you can also see that, where I'm going to ping it or on that PC, right? So what is the PC IP address that is 192.168.30.2. I think first and second packet is going to drop and after that we are able to do that. right the two packages drop again let's check we are able to play right means the the whole process is working properly right means my network is properly working means we are able to ping from here to here right now here is one more concept that is vtp we have to configure the vtp and we are going to configure the vlan on that switches and that vlan is automatically going to propagate on the this switch as well because of this is our the client switch so let's do the configuration regarding the vtp so first of all let me show you the vlan that we have any vlan on our so uh we do not have any vlan right so that's uh, the what what is the thing that we are going to do that over there before configuring anything we have to configure vtp was uh, right the vtp let me show you the vtp status to show vtp status right so the vtp vtp status that is the version is running two over there and by default the vtp was uh, sorry the vtp mode that is running on the sub right so let me just configure vtp domain that is ccie right and vtp password that is also cci let me show you the vtp version so this the domain that we have configured ccie and the version is already running so we don't have to change that now let me show you the vtp password to show vtp password right the password which is i have configured ccie okay, so let me do the configuration on the other switch regarding the vtp so before doing that any configuration just check the vtp state so this is in the server state right so we have to first of all change the vtp mode that is client right now uh, vtp domain that is we are going to use that cci and uh, vtp password that we are going to use cci right so the vtp status this is in the client state now what we are going to do again that we are going to configure the vlan on this switch and that vlan is automatically going to propagate on this switch as well, right so let's do the configuration and let's check this configuration revision and the vlan number as number of existing vlan over there so the by default five number of existing vlan that we have and this is our by default cr number configuration revision number that we got that we got it right so let's do this configuration. Okay. So um, we are going to configure VLAN number ten. First of all, do the exit. Now uh, let me show you the VLAN info. First of all, VLAN table. That VLAN is already configured. Uh, I have configured VLAN number ten. Right. Now let me configure VLAN number twenty as well. Right, so the VLAN number 20 is also I have configured on that. Now let's check the VTP status over there. Mm -hmm. So 
so the configuration reversal number is also extended because of I just created the two VLANs over there and uh, the number of existing VLAN currently that is seven, right? So let me check the configuration of the same VLAN information on this client system that we are getting or not. Now here we are not able to get it, right? So in this case, what we have to do, we have to make this port as a trunk, right? We have to make this port as a trunk port. Very easily, we are start getting the routine B configuration from that, right? Okay, guys. So this was all about these things. Okay, guys. Do you have any doubt? Any question? out during that okay trying to get confirmation it's easy guys what is it VLAN information is not going to propagate because of I didn't create the trunk port over there. So once I create the trunk port between the routers and the switches, so easily we are able to get this or uh, the VLAN information automatically or on the switch number two as well, right? So that's why we have to enter, uh, we have to configure the key, this trunking and control protocol on the switches, and we are able to get this, right? But before, before, uh, before that. We were able to communicate means we uh, our network was working properly with using the static routing, right? Which is we have done uh, while doing the configuration of the IP address. After the configuration of the IP address, we did the uh, like we did the ping command over there. We used ping command over there to make the connectivity to check the connectivity between the PCs from any of the PCs, right? So over here, I just configured the PTP and the VLAN information is not going to propagate. Why? This is because of we didn't create the trunk code over here. Right? So once you create the trunk code, that the information is automatically going to propagate. Okay, guys. So this was all about the things. Any doubt? Any any kind of doubt you have? One more thing over there that uh, which interface it switches. Fast and then zero is just one byte. So let me just configure these both as a front port. So the interface fast and then zero is just one. So switch port more trunk. that is year number 3 and the VLAN number of the existing man that is 8 right so let me check the configuration on VTP status before checking the VTP status let me check the VLAN still we are not able to do that ok uh, VTP mode
actually we are not getting it. So, uh, guys, I think we have to just establish this network because of uh, this is the fault regarding the the VTP that is we have, right? Because of we are before configuring the VTP, we are able to get all the information. Once the VTP once we configure the VTP, that is, uh, that's why we are not able to. Let me just check the connectivity between the So the same effort that we are going to do, right? Because of before that, <coughs> still we are able to ping it, right? Means we are getting the communication. But the only one thing is that we are not getting the VLAN on the client switch, right? So I think just check once more. Okay, so we have to troubleshoot the VTP concept over there, then we are able to get that. We are, means we are, we are, our PC is able to communicate, right, means our network is properly working. Just only the one difference that is uh, only one problem that we are getting into over there regarding the VTP, right. So we, we have to troubleshoot the network regarding um, this uh, basically trunking configuration and the VTP configuration and all of these that easily we will get these informations, right? So this was all about the things, guys.